hi guys uh, welcome to this video and today i'm going to tell you that how you can make these awesome gems okay so and how this tutorial is different from others okay so first thing it's totally different because in other tutorials i believe me i watch a lot of them and they are using a position map to get the desired effect to get the gem but the problem is uh, let me show you a concept uh, yeah think oh, okay so let yeah something like this okay they using a position map to get this effect like uh, darker under here and brighter on the top okay but it won't work uh, if you having a character who have totally covered with um, gems okay because uh, yeah, you see that the gems is coming all the directions not the top to bottom or uh, everywhere okay like uh, this also the same like top bottom to top it's only this portion it the mm, those tutorial is only only going to help you when uh, you have your gems straight top to bottom okay because they use the position map a position map has a gradient to get that look okay but it won't work uh, if you have a char whole character who have uh, a lots of uh, gems to it like coming from all uh, different directions like this yeah, it's coming from down going to down and as you can see it's coming up it's coming down and if have uh, this much type of uh, gradation of uh, angles then it w really won't work and the one more difference is um, you can't see the variations of uh, the gem lighting in it the all looks same okay uh, but you see if you see this then you will see some darker <coughs> darker gems some lighter gems and it's logical because the uh, bigger gems have lots of volume to it so that the light couldn't travel through it but the lighter and smaller gems have uh, less density than so that the light can travel through this all okay so uh, i think it it is pretty uh, logical uh, that's the bigger should be much denser and the smaller should be uh, much lighter okay like this if you see this then it will hold as the same like same density nothing much okay if, if you see this uh, it will be almost same and it has some uh, density over here but it is only the straight it won't work if um, the uh, gems are in uh, all the angle uh, i know my shapes is now on the straight but i am pretty sure that if you use uh, on this on a character then it will get the same as the same result okay yeah, because i am not using the position map i am using a thickness map um, so it will help you really to get these results okay so i will be showing you how i did it okay so okay so I will have a base layer okay it's the fill layer and I am having uh, only diffuse turned on this surface <coughs> this object has only diffuse and I have a lighter color to this base and next I added a tint so my tint should be little brighter than my base okay 
now how I create this mask uh, if you uh, alt and click on a mask you can see the mask okay so where I should get the mask uh, I have the normal map I baked uh, all the maps over here and got all these things uh, from uh, without baking the normal map I bake all these things and thickness map and ambient occlusion is compulsory <coughs> curvature also okay so I baked it so I'm not going to bake it again and I don't need these things okay so in the black mask uh, and I added a black mask to this I added a fill layer <coughs> like this <coughs> sorry I added a fill layer to this mask and in this uh, mask I chose a uh, thickness map it is uh, you can find it in this grayscale tab it will be like this uh, before when you added it uh, it will show up like this okay so I didn't uh, do anything over here I just added a thickness map over here and I turn on I added a label here and so as you see without turning on the level I have a label like this uh, I have a thickness map like this I added a label and control it like this and I what I did in the label I inverted it okay and also adjust the edges so that I could get more of these uh, little gray and this black and this white uh, this black okay so I am trying to get this by adjusting this okay you can do it also so I just turned on the uh, it is off okay it is on right so by default I am getting this uh, with thickness map and adding a level I inverted it and adjust a little bit it doesn't have a specific number you have to check by your models okay uh, and this only for this section you will get this result okay and I did nothing else and for the uh, lower tint I also have only only diffuse turn on so I'm getting this and third thing is uh, third thing is the cavity I will get back to the emissive at the last okay because you have to add these first then go, go to the emissive at the last so I turn on the cavity what I did here So for some reason it's showing up black over here but I have a color okay I have a brighter color over here and I set this to soft light okay and I added a black mask and in the black mask I added a fill layer first and in the fill layer I added a curvature map which is baked from this okay uh, please remember that I only start with this OBJ and this normal map I didn't use anything else to get into this substance I uh, after I adding this I bake the textures okay and now I'm getting only those textures using here okay so I'm adding a curvature map just I added by default it's come up like this if you added just fill layer to it like this okay <coughs> after having fill layer click over here and type curvature and this curvature is coming up here you select it so you will get like this okay 
and as you can see my whole object is going to brighten up because the curvature have this gray color and this white color okay because of this gray color my ba default base color also get changed so what i'm going to do just add a label on top of the fill layer and adjusting this label to get rid of those grays and uh, only have this brighter white and this black okay so as you see uh, it's first like this i added like this and coming over here a little bit okay so i got something like this okay i'm gonna do this yeah so i i got by adjusting this and so that is for the this fill layer and this is for the this level okay now uh, now the spec and the, for the spec i turn on only spec and gloss what this is going to do uh, it will add a whole specular color to this uh, what more why you can do you can add a fill layer to this also and in this fill layer you should create one another layer mm, because I want to do this because my specular doesn't have any other information it's all flat so and my gloss also so what I want <coughs> I want a In my gloss tab in this spec specular layer in the gloss tab I will adding my AO okay it's element occlusion so if you see the inner side is doesn't going to be speculate and this is going to be speculate but it will better if I have a fill layer to this and in this fill layer I will be using the gloss <coughs> in this in that way I can control that okay <coughs> I meant occlusion I added the fill layer to this and I added a uh, the gloss channel add my occlusion and I can adjust how the let me turn off my gloss over here <coughs> okay so now I added a spec layer to it and in this spec layer I only have this uh, gloss control and this specular color control okay so now these are the base things and I just come up with the emissive which is going to be give this effect okay so what I did here I just copy this tint mask like this copy mask and I created a fill layer over it and change the color to a brighter color of this something like that okay and I added a black layer to the black mask to this <coughs> and I will paste this mask to here okay okay so as you see it's doesn't have any effect because this layer has all the things turned on I only want that emissive should be turned on and my emissive color should be 
much brighter okay so let me select this one So I'm done with the all the things now. I'm just turning on the emissive map. Okay. So in the emissive map setting, I'll show wait. <coughs> I added a fill layer to this first. Okay. I will turn off this so that it will be easy to see. yeah <coughs> and in the fill layer I added a thickness map in the grayscale tab it will be by default like this then you will select this and add a thickness map to it okay so if you check the mask by alt clicking this uh, and please see this in this layer i only turn on the emissive i didn't use anything only i use emissive okay so in the fill layer i added a grayscale thickness map okay then uh, i turn on a label and what i did in the label i inverted it okay uh, is the same thing i did over here i just copy it and paste it over here okay so as you see you can see here this, this setting is not moving at all <coughs> because it is the same thing I, I just copy it and paste it and after pasting this I think this is little brighter so I added another label to it and have a little bit of adjustment uh, it's overall actually the overall adjustment uh, then uh, I want to get rid of this noise so I added a blur to it okay so yeah that's it that's the only thing I did <coughs> so just back to the turn on these things so I think you like it and if you didn't like it please <laughs> tell me in the comment with why you didn't like it if or if you have any another good options to do it i will definitely want to hear it and yeah so in my logic it's going pretty well and it's also have lots of variation to it uh, it's have lots of logic to it um, because the thicker part should be much much darker and the thinner part should be much much lighter okay so hope you like it and if you like it please do subscribe to my channel and do a comment that uh, if you like it or not and I will try to give you this smart material uh, so that you could um, use it and I'm not pretty sure that if you drag and drop it just and your texture is done you have to adjust it uh, as per your need Okay, so yeah, see you next time. Bye bye.